Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's web whiz video number 17 where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now this week, time for something a little bit different, we are going to visit the website of Murderous Maths. I think my spelling was a bit dodgy there. Um, now most of you will have probably heard of the Murderous Maths series of books and they're absolutely excellent, really good for young children or children who are keen to extend their mathematical learning. And this is the website. Now the first thing that struck me as I looked at this was what on earth is going on. It's absolutely all over the show with crazy drawings and stuff. And if you've ever been to see uh, Kaj and Poskett, the author of the Murderous Maths books, talk, you'll <laughs> maybe you'll agree with me that this website kind of matches his personality because he's absolutely off his head, but he's full of brilliant ideas and really fun activities and this website is cram packed full of them it's just quite hard to find where they are so if you want my advice i normally start by going to the this link here which is full contents give that a little click and here's the website and at the top you'll see it's full of links to his various books which are excellent and then we get tricks and games and then we get activities and puzzles and then we get features now one way i've used this website in the past is if i'm planning um, a lesson that's got that's a little bit different maybe a fun lesson maybe some activities maybe some hands-on stuff so one i've used in the past to uh, varying levels of success is this one how to make flexigans so if i just give this a little click now flexigans are kind of paper paper based things and here's the series of instructions how to make them now i made these with my year seven class a couple of years ago the kids absolutely loved it they found it very straightforward to do i had an absolute disaster with it but after a good bit of cutting and folding and it's all to do with equilateral triangles and properties of shapes and stuff you get a really interesting shape here that's got some fascinating fascinating mathematical properties where it can change all to the same color or different colors and stuff like that a really fun activity uh, for the kids but as i say i was pretty rubbish at that one so it's good for things like that if you want to come up with a, an activity for a whole lesson or if you want to do a starter these tricks are very good this is a classic 7 11 13 trick which is good to use to introduce um, algebra or to talk about factors and what I like about this is for every time you think you've seen a trick this website seems to produce a different one like an extension of it so there's the classic 3367 trick which I'd never heard of before but which is excellent so that's one way to use the site to have a flick through and, and come up with activities yourself to use within lesson but one other thing that I've done and it tends to work quite well is if you're lucky enough to get your students into a computer room and you're stuck for something to do maybe you don't want to do the usual my maths or something like that get them on this website and say to, uh, maybe get them working in pairs or groups of three and say okay I'm going to give you this lesson on the computer and then one more lesson back in the classroom and I want you to find something interesting on this website and put together a little presentation on it so there's so much different stuff on here that the chance of uh, kids coming up with the same thing is quite small and also it doesn't really matter if they do but it it just gets them interested in different areas of maths there's loads of fascinating stuff there's a thing that i saw uh, just this morning that i hadn't seen before about how you turn any rectangle into a square of the exact same area and it'd be great if the kids could have a look at that it's talking to them about loci and all that kind of stuff there's loads of good calculator tricks and uh, how to make seven by seven magic squares given any starting numbers and all that um, and the kids will come out with some really interesting stuff and it'll just be i think well i i think it'll make a really fascinating lesson when they do their presentations on it um, one other really nice thing that it's worth looking at here is this research lab. Now if you've got gifted and talented students or you've got A-level students who you want to push on a little bit further, then just take a look at some of this kind of stuff. This is a collection of all questions that have been sent to the website with their answers. So what is the square root of I? Well I didn't know the answer to that one and I had a look at that and it comes out with a really answer and a nice little justification and then of course what's the cube root of i what's the square root of minus i loads of stuff about areas and volumes and fibonacci and loads of things going on here it's absolutely ram packed full of stuff as i say it's quite hard to navigate your way around but that's why i think it's a good idea to get the kids on there and see what they can dig out of it so there it is the murderous maths website an excellent website and if you do get a chance to see mr poskett in action it really is worth it anyway that was the web video for this week i'll be back with a fresh one next week bye for now